Hey guys, so the controller is in um, and it's fairly noisy as you can hear. Um, when I get a panel on here hopefully that'll be quieter. Anyway, next step up is to do the calibration and basically what the calibration means is uh, if you tell it to go from 0 to 250 mil it should land on exactly 250 mil and go back to exactly zero and go back to you know um, there should be no cumulative errors or anything like that um, and so the way that's controlled is in the controller software there are so many pulses per millimeter uh, and you can vary that uh, minutely um, to get it exactly right so for instance so the first thing you have to do is tape <coughs> you need a more accurate uh, measure than just the centimeters here and so I just took a uh, millimeter ruler on here uh, as my guide so when I told it to go to 250 mil it actually went to 49.5 and so you then do a little bit of math so you can change the base level of pulses per millimeter in the software um, and from then on it'll be more accurate so uh, the software itself is where it's all controlled so this is the software uh, this is like a, a thing called uni universal g-code sender which is like a java app that runs on windows um, and essentially there's a whole bunch of parameters which you can adjust and i don't know if this will focus but there are two parameters here one is for the x steps per minute and one is for the y steps per minute so these are the parameters that you can change to make sure that it goes back and forth exactly um, the right distance so that's what I'm in the process of doing and when you do it for the x-axis then you do it for the y-axis and then you do it for the z-axis and then you're good so in my case here the x value is now 40.08 uh, and with that value in this parameter I get exactly the 250 mil travel when I tell it to go to 50 mil so now I gotta do the y-axis so as it turns out the y-axis is spot on so I don't need to change anything there so we go, just need to check the z-axis So there we go, this is the uh, just a, a little uh, burger uh, drawing that I found on the site and uh, I just wanted to check out its accuracy and how it would turn out and so I think I'm pretty pleased with that. So we're, 
we're good to go i think as far as what i would call basic inlay graving 2d type stuff is concerned we got a couple of more i was playing with um so uh yeah i think that i think i have the basics of it uh the next will be using some more sophisticated software uh to see if we can uh have a go at something that is a little bit more 3D than this. But uh, I think this is pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Uh, it's nice and accurate. Uh, quality is pretty good. Next up I'll do... Uh, I'll obviously have to learn how to play with the software and uh, have a go at something that's a little bit more 3D. So that'd be next. <laughs>